Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll discuss about the impact of solar eclipse on Nifty and S&P 500. So a lot of people, you know, requested me like if we can do something for S&P 500. You know, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse can, you know, used to talk about him, uh, them a lot. They have a big impact on, you know, financial markets. Actually, you get a good trend in the market uh, after these events are over. So let's see, uh, you know, what I've done here is I have, uh, I found, uh, you know, uh, the solar eclipse of last 12 years. Uh, there is a method in this and I'm only looking for total and annual uh, solar eclipse you know there are partial solar eclipse also so let's suppose uh, you know uh, let's start our back testing from let's suppose 2014 so I just click here I'll just minimize this now this this uh, I have selected 29th April 2014 so I'll just go there to 29th April 2014 okay. This is 2016. Go back. So this actually it will automatically draw the line here. Yeah, here it is. Just maximize it. So this was 29th April 2014. After that, the market uh, went in a kind of sideways zone. And once this high of solar eclipse was broken, we had a good rally on outside. So basically, highs and lows of these states are very important. Uh, let's see March 20th 2015 so now I'll go to March 20th 2015 yeah, here, it is. here is March we had a good trend on downside then March 9 2016 that is I'm just clicking here it is automatically pointing March 9 2016 uh, good move on that day and a kind of uh, sideways move. I mean these you can see it never closed below the low of the solar eclipse day. Then let me quickly go to like suppose Feb 26, 2017. The market was again in a kind of sideways zone also only and let me just go for August 21 2017 August 21 so basically we are seeing here the you know the index uh, you know our, our nifty doesn't get affected much by it as ingresses and everything uh, like ingress uh, uh, declination they have major impact but the solar eclipse doesn't have major impact on uh, our uh, nifty similarly let me just uh, you know show you for s&p 500 also so this is the chart of s&p 500 again we'll apply the same strategy here i'll start from let's suppose uh, uh, march 20th 2015 so march 20th 2015 will be somewhere here s&p made a top on the next day and a good fall then the total one is March 9, 2016. March 9, 2016. Again, it made a bottom the next day and it had a good rally. Then I'll go for, uh, I'm just going for the total one which is happening currently. So, uh, August 21st, 2017. Again, it made a bottom one day before and I had a good rally. And so now we are having 2nd July. So now S&P is at uh, all time high. So probably if today's high is not broken, we can see a good fall in the market. So again, it depends from instrument to instrument. It's not like that. It doesn't work for Nifty. It will work for S&P or vice versa. So S and P, I think, uh, if if today's high is not broken, uh, we can see a short term correction. And for Nifty, I don't think so. Any major impact is there of solar eclipse. So that's about it. That was just a you know historical view, like uh, how eclipse affect our stock market. All right, thank you.